Florida and the Carolinas are popular vacation spots for Southern New Englanders. And we've learned one local family decided not to cancel their trip to Disney. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin has that interview new tonight. Caroline? Well, Shannon, in my community is from Florida to the Carolinas are under mandatory evacuations right now as Hurricane Dorian barrels toward the southeast. And while many people are choosing to leave, I caught up with two Rhode Islanders who actually flew south ahead of the storm. The Prime Minister of the Bahamas says parts of his country are in the midst of a historic tragedy. The American Red Cross estimates 13,000 homes in the Bahamas were damaged or destroyed as a result of Hurricane Dorian. The imagery coming out of the Bahamas is, is quite devastating. Meantime, FEMA official David Bebo says the southeastern U.S. continues bracing for the impact of the storm. Officials say the hurricane has the potential to bring life-threatening storm surge and strong winds that could affect the Carolinas, Georgia, and Florida. Unpredictable storm. In an interview Tuesday afternoon, AAA said the impending storm caused more than 1,600 flights to be canceled today and force the closure of Orlando International Airport. The majority of the canceled flights are out of in or out of the Orlando Airport. We've been doing a lot of work rebooking families that had planned vacations to Disney. They switched. Oh! There's a little bit of wind coming. Not Ron and Liz LaBresh. The father and daughter who are from Woonsocket were already dealing with strong winds when we caught up with them via FaceTime at their Disney Resort Tuesday night. We knew there was a chance of this being terrible, but we wanted to be in Disney. So the Rhode Islanders went ahead with their plans. They got down to Orlando on Saturday and say the weather hadn't affected their vacation until the Disney parks were shut down early this afternoon. They sent out a mass email and notifications all over that they're closing the parks down at like 2 and 3 o'clock was the latest. Ron says he and his daughter hope to get back to the parks tomorrow. He says a plus of this impending weather scares crowds and no lines. So the parks, uh, they're like ghost towns, which is great for us.